Hi guys, I'm Shutak from the designsketchbook.com and today we are going to see how to multiply a cube in all directions in 3 dimensions and this is how it's going to help you to rise uh, your visualizations and join in 3D. But first, we start in 2D with a simple square and we wonder how to multiply by 2, like how we are going to duplicate it. So you draw the diagonals, you go to the center, so you get a horizontal line and then with the right dot in the center, you just cross it with the corner. And here we go, you can reproduce your square at the identical measurement. Okay, so this is all happening in two dimensions and we are going to reapply that simple room uh, in perspective just later on. Okay, so let's recapitulate it a bit. So the first step here is to draw the diagonal of the square. So make sure that you are going to do straight lines and this is how you will gain accuracy and then for the center you are going to draw the line that is crossing it from the corner okay and then for the third point you just need to reconstitute your square from there okay so you help yourself from the initial square to the new dots that is up here in tree to reconstitute it so make a try and it's going to be all clear for you guys so what is magic in design sketching is that whatever is applied applicable in 2D is going to be applicable in 3D and we are going to do it uh, in perspective. But first, let's have a quick demo of a freehand cube first, just to have uh, a preview of it. But later on we are going to draw with the perspective rules, with all the two point perspective set up. Okay, we got the cube, we choose one of the face, one of the side of the cube and then we are doing the same. Diagonals horizontal line that follow actually the perspective lines and then we can just carry on by prolongate it by expanding the lines and here we go you will be able then by expanding all this line perspective to reconstitute not only a square but a cube in 3d okay so by now it's a baby a bit like um, tricky as a beginner so let's go step by step with the perspective setup that's going to explain to you everything and so you draw this horizontal horizontal line and then a small cube in the middle. So once again, if you want to get all this step by step, feel free to download the designer starter kit in the blog. Alrighty, so we got that cube. So make sure to draw a cube that is not too close to the vanishing point. Um, and also with a pretty small size, not too big, because it's going to give you some distortions. And this is what we are going to see later in the third video. So for now, we are going to get that cube, which is pretty, pretty well, well proportionate. So we choose a side, you draw the diagonals, and then from the center, see the left vanishing point, you get it as a starting point, and you join it to the center, and you prolong that line. And then you can get the right center on the edge, and then you connect it to the corner. Remember what we saw for the 2D? We are doing the, exactly the same thing here in 3D. So we can reconstitute that, uh, that square in that dimensions and then you can use uh, the right vanishing point to reconstitute your cube. Here we go. So feel free to use a ruler uh, at start. Usually I don't really recommend a ruler, but if you're a really beginner and have some troubles to draw straight lines, uh, then use a ruler first. But then take your time with the designer starter kit to study how to draw straight lines. So here is called the foreshortening. Like the cube behind is shorter than the front, which is longer. Okay, so it's something that you really need to know when you draw in three dimension. So now let's carry on by duplicating this cube, but on the top. Here we go. So it's pretty magic. Basically, you choose one side of the initial cube, you duplicate it, and then you reconstitute the cube. Okay, and you can do this exercise in all the directions you want. To the left, to the right, to the top, to the behind, and so on. This is really, really fun. And it's something that you really need to practice uh, to really make sure that your brain is going to get used to this. And uh, it's not very simple, and there's going to have more lines on your sketches. So this is why you need to get some focus. And actually train your brain to have this 
uh, all this amount of lines and making abstractions of what you need and do not need. And this is what is going to be very important is to draw with very light lines first and bold along the way, okay? So basically, as you can see here, this is pretty magic because you can draw in all directions and uh, having these cubes really navigating in three dimensions. And as you can see, even if you was not used uh, to visualize things in 3D and see only things in 2D in your mind, uh, with all these simple techniques, you can actually draw on 2D paper three dimensions uh, object. Okay, so now you got the power of multiplying in all directions and let's have fun to draw it freehand on top. So more you will draw with the two-point perspective setup, uh, more you will train your brain and get easier to draw freehand after that. So I'm just reapplying all the same rules right here. So I really invite you to, to draw this thing for a couple of hours or even more like uh, you will see that as soon as you get started and start to understand how it works it becomes pretty addictive <laughs> this is what is pretty cool with drawing um, it's like whenever like you, you catch something you just want to play with it it's really like a game and now what we are going to do as a game is to draw like pieces like Tetris the game Tetris and drawing the different pieces from different angles so I'm getting started with what we have drawn as a base so if you draw on paper you can actually bold uh, your base and then use another lay of another paper on top and draw all this kind of shape and if you use a tablet graphic tablet like you can do like me I'm just adding extra layers to draw on top and if you're wondering which software I'm using it's called sketchbook pro it's a very simple uh, software to use which I really highly recommend as a product designer to use because the pencil for sketchbook pro I'm using the pencil too and it's very nice uh, line drawing so as you can see I'm, ha I'm giving a bit of hatching here and there I choose one of the side so just like to show a bit more of contrast that's it and we can really do unlimited a number of volumes from this type of square and multiplication which is really cool Done. so you will have the perceptions to be able to start being able to turn object in your mind uh, in 3d so you rise your practice of drawing but especially your visualization which is super important you have to train your brain to get used to that so when you go like for example in the shop or something when you have a product feel free to observe it from different angle so that's it so it's all about having fun and after drawing like a lot of them covering a lot of papers a4 papers a3 papers uh, so we we'll see you in the next video for the carry on the challenge of the cube mania challenge see you